Hi, this is Nirmal Sarkar from Hightricks.com and I am here to speak a few words about how to customize your front page of your website using Visual Composer. Well, before I begin, I need to say something that I am not a regular video maker and I have never tried making videos like this earlier. So there may be mistakes, please, please, please pardon me. Like you are seeing, I have customized my home page using Visual Composer according to the look I prefer. Actually, customizing your home page is very easy using the Visual Composer but for the newbies it may seem quite difficult setting it up. So I have made this video to help you out. Let's proceed. At first, you need to make two new pages for your website and we will customize one page using the Visual Composer. Go to your WordPress dashboard, click on pages click on add new and I will name it page A and I will publish it and I will create another page and I will name it page B and I will publish it too. So we have two pages page A and page B. Let's take page B and customize it according to my home page. Just if you have the visual composer installed already you can see the backend editor option in your page editor click on the backend editor you shall see this add element add text block add template you can choose anything you like as I am customizing it according to my own choice entirely so I will proceed with the add element option if you notice there are lots of elements here to add let's have a look what element do I have here at first I have these three blocks so let's search for the three blocks here. This is the big grid 5. So click on the big grid 5. Here you can see some grid style 1, grid style 2. There are some different grid styles. So I am going to use the colors grid style and just click on save the settings. And it will save your settings here. Well, what do you have below it? I have this one big box here and there are three small boxes there. So let's search for the boxes. You can see there are plus buttons there so if I want to add anything just below the big grid 5 I am going to use the plus button here click on the plus button and let's search for the big grid it is the big grid 2 click on the big grid 2 and it will show the big grid settings there are again different styles to choose I will choose the flat colors option and click on save changes and below it I have these three boxes again so it is again big grid 5 so again another plus and here is my big grid 5 so again I'm, I'm going to choose grid style 2 and save changes so I have made this 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 and this ready so let's proceed below here you can see one big grid one big grid and there are four smaller grids along with the load more options if I click on it, it will load again one big grid, one big grid and there are four smaller grids again with a load more option. Another thing if you notice that the whole page is divided into two third and one third. So just use the add element option and now I am going to find this block 2 I suppose, yes block 2 and I have added the block 2 here and I will just title it as blogger tips just like I did in the home page. So bloggers tips and well in the filter categories I am just going to use like say blogging save changes well if you see that there is two thirds and one thirds division so I should divide this into two thirds and one third it can be done from this option this is two third plus one third after I click this the whole page is divided into two third and one third here you can see the tag div social buttons and so I need to add here the social buttons click on the plus yes this is the social counter and this will load so just name it something this is the heading and choose style okay default with border style well to add the different social networks you need to configure here so you need to add your Facebook ID here app ID app security key you can make this from your Facebook developers account so I'm going to leave it for now. Just add the Twitter ID and my Instagram ID. Open with new window and click on save changes. So here I have added the small version of social counter. Yes, it is good to go for now. And below it, I have this 
looking for discounts try hydrix deals click here this will redirect to the subdomain recharge.hydrix.com how to add this this is a call to action button just click on the plus button and search for the call to action button here this is the call to action button click on it that's right looking for discounts try hydrix deals i am adding no subheadings design options you can see this add icon bottom add icon for call to action and here you have the icon button if you click on the icon button you can set the icon color and the icon url select url just type the url you want to redirect recharge.hytrix.com link text click here set link and click on save changes so here is my call to action button now come to here in the block 2 i have this load more options so just configure it click on edit pagination load more button and click on save changes so below it i have this android menu so just click another menu use the block 2 title set android in pagination load more button filter categories android save changes so as you can see i have set this and at the last you can add all your remaining posts block 2 you can name it as latest posts you need not filter anything you can load from all categories and on pagination just select infinite load having infinite load gives you an advantage like that when you scroll down it will just load more articles and you need not use the pagination this brings a better user experience while someone is visiting your site so almost everything is done well in the top you can see this trending now option with some news running this is called the news sticker i can add this new sticker above the big grid 5 click on the news sticker filter if you want to load from only one category then choose the category default category else keep it all categories save changes here you can see the new sticker is added above the big grid 5 let's click on update there is one more thing you should do just let me show you the page you can understand yourself here's my custom home page here there there is the trending now button and there is the three blocks there is the big blocks and there are again three blocks and i have used the social counter see call to action button you can change the text to anything and this is the blogger's tips where you can see big blocks and the small blocks with the load more button which loads more posts for you and again there is the android with the same load more button and afterwards there is the latest post option with infinite pagination it is loading more and more page as you scroll downwards but there is one more thing you need to do if you look at the post this is a coupon rovers post this is the easy b post and this is the google local guide post here too there is the coupon rover post easy b post google local guide post here too there is the coupon rovers post easy b post and google local guide post how to make each and every post unique as you can see these are loading the latest posts from my blog so how to configure so that these loads the ultimate latest posts followed by this followed by this to set this you need to click on edit the first big grid 5 this one is all set this is already loading the latest posts so i need not change anything here but for this big block the big grid 2 i need to edit something click on edit and there is the offset post button this is the thing you need to configure now so as you can see there are already three posts beforehand you need to choose the offset post as four save changes and it will leave the first three posts and load the post from the fourth and again in the big grid five you need to edit and you need to leave out one two three four five six seven posts so it should load from the eight posts onwards click on save changes and finally click on update and now you can see the home page see now there is the coupon reverse post there is the easy post there is the google local guide post and this block has left out these three posts and showing from the fourth one this is the cheap dedicated server post this is the go paisa post this is the creo mark one post and these three are again loading after leaving out one two three four five six seven posts and once you configure this you need not configure again when you posting new articles once you post new articles the newest article will show up here this will go here this will go here 
and so on. You need not set anything afterwards. Now the final step is to set this as home page. To do that just go to your WordPress settings reading and here you can see the front page displays option. You need to choose a static page and you need to choose the front page as page B and you need to choose a post page too. The page it will load the latest posts from your blog by default. Choose it as page A. Click on save changes. That's all. Now you can simply type your blog URL, press enter and it will load the custom home page you have set using the visual composer. So that's all guys. I hope now it's easier for you to set up the visual composer by yourself. Thank you for watching this video.